today. Um, I'm walking through the Michael Zakin Gallery. Since the gallery is closed, uh, not everyone has seen the work here, but this is to show you what we have on display. The iron and uh, stone items are uh, the work of Eric David Laxman. <clears throat> the paintings are by Harriet Fink. Um, the acrylic on paper. Uh, Eric works with found objects. He collects many objects uh, that are would otherwise be thrown away. Uh, iron and steel uh, bits that he finds and of course he has stone and he does stone carving as well as you can see by this example of the wing. Um, Although these two artists' work are very different, there is a similarity to them in that they draw from nature to create their work. You can see from Harriet's that she is looking to nature, this piece which is called Water too, um, and feels like water. It's acrylic on paper and ink as well, acrylic and ink. Um, but you can feel the movement of the water as well as the sparkling of the sun. So there's lots of nature uh, inspiration here and um, a lot of her work does look to the small elements of nature as in cells, uh, cells through a microscope and such things. Um, whereas Eric's uses the inspiration of nature, and of course here we have uh, steel rods and vine coming through. Give it a very organic feel. This piece is called Twister. Uh, Harriet also does these very uh, intimate ink drawings on paper. This one is called Landscape One, where it's a very horizontal composition, but uh, broken up by this center horizontal using a very different texture, uh, which gives it not so much a horizontal view. Um, Eric also includes photographs. In this piece, Window into the Soul, behind these steel items, there is a photo. He started taking photos of um, reflections of himself in different, uh, in different places that he traveled all over the world and started incorporating them in his work. Uh, this is also acrylic on mounted on museum board. It's a diptych, it's of two, two pieces. Um, and this is called Dwells in Gardens. And you can see there's, it's very floral, uh, looking look, as if you're looking down intently at a, a very lush garden full of greens and uh, greens and flowers. Okay, we come here to another, and as you can see the photo obvious, uh, a little bit more obviously, this one is called Close Up. Again, found object and photo. <clears throat> this is Moonwalker, steel and found objects. Really cool shadow that it casts as well. Here's another of Harriet's Landscape 2, ink on paper. It could be seen as an aerial view of land, but also a very close-up view of land. So that's interesting. Okay, this is Eric's water chestnut seed, and this literally, it looks just like a water chestnut seed, and this is what he used as a, as a guide in making this. Uh, it's steel and stainless steel. 
Okay. Then we have Harriet Lens, Harriet's Landscape 3. Again, pen and ink on paper. Uh, you can see the detail involved in these. Uh, you, can, you can look at these for a very long time. Okay. And then we have Eric's Drain Pipe, Found Objects and photographs. This one actually closes. It's a drain pipe. You can open it up and there's an octopus in there. Here we have masquerade. Uh, found object and photograph. You're seeing a little bit of glare there. It's hard to not get glare. It's a very sunny day today. <clears throat> We've had a lot of rainy days, but today's a sunny day. So you can see that there's a head in there with a wig-like form on top of the head. Uh, this is Harriet's Landscape 4. Again, another ink on paper with the detail that is mesmerizing. Stepping back, you see a uh, composition that disappears as soon as you go close into the detail. Okay. This is Eric again, Cloud Theory, a found object with a photograph. A beautiful sunny day outside. Wakeful Mind, found object. And here we have <clears throat> Harriet Fink, acrylic on paper. And this is <clears throat> a companion to the first piece we saw, which I will go back to, Charles Soleil, or Chains 5. It's acrylic on paper. <clears throat> and uh, working this way, Harriet creates these, uh, a veil of these circles. Uh, and so there's a, a sense of space, not deep space, but a, 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 a uh, luminous space by layering color and shape. Okay, then we come to this piece, which is called Protected and Invisible Self-Portrait by Eric David Lotzman. You can see his photo used there on a transparency film. Okay, so we'll go back to the beginning. This is called Resilient Heart. It's made of marble, steel, and railroad spikes, and it's housed in this stand. It's also very interesting from the back. Okay. Uh, the heart comes up in um, Eric's work often. Okay, so this is Sauce Chalet Chains 4, again acrylic on paper, and you can see, just stepping back from this, you can see the layering and the spatial, creating space, uh, but not too deep space. There's an orange, orangish color behind, which of course moves everything forward. Um, but again, mesmerizing. You can look at these details. You can spend lots of time in front of this looking at these details throughout this entire piece. Okay, then we'll come again to self-reflection two, self-reflection one, and this one, which is broken heart, broken wing, 
and back to the water too. This one I did not show you yet. It's called Warrior Plow Figure. <clears throat> it's, a, it's found stone and iron. It's a plow, an iron plow at the bottom. There's steel, it's iron plow. And found stone and found iron to create this figure. Uh, here we have in the center of the room, this is called <clears throat> Family Portrait. <clears throat> and uh, these pieces on top are independent of the stand, so it can be moved around uh, in different compositions. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this little tour <clears throat> of the Michael Zakin Gallery and everyone's being careful and staying safe and we will let you know when the gallery opens again <clears throat> until then we will be having events uh, on the Gall facebook gallery page